is the day we celebrate a creature that just does not get enough love. No. It is sloth appreciation yes. today. My family will be celebrating with the appropriate mm -hmm. feast. Cody is standing by, though, with more this morning. That's right. Uh, joining us now, Lucy Cook, to talk about our friends, the sloth. Uh, the sloths have never had a better friend than you, Lucy. Oh, that's <laughs> very nice of you to say so. They speak very highly of you as well, Cody. Well, thank you very much, Lucy. I appreciate that. Okay, so how did you get so fascinated with sloths? Because, like, honestly, you're like the premier sloth expert. <laughs> well, I, it, it was about 10 years ago, and I, I visited a sanctuary in Costa Rica that rescued sloths, and I'd never seen one before in my life, and I was completely mesmerized by them. I mean, they were the most extraordinary, strange, wonderful, cute, but creepy, <laughs> curious creatures, basically. And so I'm a zoologist and um, filmmaker, and so I just... Yeah, I just kind of fell in love at first sight, really, with their weirdness more than anything. I yeah, they, they are. I mean, I, I don't want to insult the sloths, but they are weird. You know, they move very slowly, but they've got that cute face. But then they get those long nail things that come out. Yeah, they're very Halloween, the nails, aren't they? They're very, um, they're very of the season. So, <laughs> yeah, they kind of look like they're made of lots of different animal parts that have all been stuck together because the face is very cute. They've got the sort of, you know, with those sort of funny beepable noses, but then these long claws. So, yeah, I mean, the thing about, the, the thing that I, I've always been a champion of underdogs. I'm really interested in animals that have been misunderstood by humans and, and given an unfair reputation. And the sloth is probably the number one candidate for that list because they are massively misunderstood they've been named after a deadly sin and so everybody <laughs> thinks that because they're slow they're somehow second rate and that they're, they're unevolved and really the thing is is they've been more successful than we have they've been around a lot longer than humans have and the reason why they're so successful is because they are slow because they're really you know, they need a very sustainable existence. So I sort of think, you know, we should be looking to the sloth as a new icon of sustainability in these times where we need to be spending less energy ourselves. That is so interesting. I've never thought of it that way, but you're right. They they have, they figured it out. They really did. Uh, although I am very sloth-like in my life, uh, quite honestly, uh, sitting on the couch every day. Now, let's talk about on your website on slothville.com. You've got you've got sloth calendars. They're so adorable. I need a calendar for 2021. I think this is what's going to turn everything around, Lucy. Yes, I mean, not only are they fantastically weird, they're also fantastically photogenic. I mean, <laughs> look at that face. So I do every year I go to Costa Rica and I take photographs of sloths. And the great thing about sloths is unlike meerkats and pandas, they all have different faces. So you get a whole year of gorgeous, cute, sweet smiling faces and let's face it because of lockdown and covid we've all become a bit sloth like yeah. so you know we can look to the sloths to guide us through 2021 and make it better <laughs> than 2020 perhaps perhaps hopefully hopefully so lucy thanks for joining us today and happy sloth appreciation day you and i we're on the same wavelength i love these creatures they're so weird and wonderful stay, stay sloppy stay sloppy <laughs> Stay sloppy. Yes. Thanks, Lucy. Appreciate it. All right, John, back to you. She made such a compelling argument from this day forward. Mm -hmm. I vow to be more sloth like. Yes. Let's all I'm going to do less and take longer to do it. Done. <laughs> uh,